Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a collaboration brew. Oh, yes, we do. Right here it is. This is from the Perennial Artisan Ales in conjunction with the Heirloom Rustic Ales Brewing Company located in St. Louis, Missouri. They got together to celebrate the 10th anniversary of this Lovely brewery right here. Yeah, it's uh, the Fish Drifter. It's described as an adjunct lager. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is Dr. Dave drinking an adjunct lager on his channel? Why would he do that? Well, I tell you, I didn't notice at the time that this was brewed with corn grits. It was in the section where the good beers are kept. Yeah, where the craft brews are. And the price is $2.39 for the 16-ounce can. So I really wouldn't think it would be a adjunct lager at that price. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, anyway, it's brewed with uh, Hallertau hops. And uh, like I said, Arkansas corn grits. That's what it says on the can. Arkansas corn grits, baby. Checks in at 4.7% alcohol by volume. I can tell you it says right here it's unfiltered and unpatcherized, which means you want to take it home and put it in the refrigerator right away because there's nothing to keep this beer from kind of turning on you. And it can turn nasty, unfiltered, unpasteurized. Yeah, you got to keep it refrigerated. And the bottom of the can, it says it's best before November 11th of 2021. We just started July, so... This beer is plenty good. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's go ahead and get my tool here to help me open up this can. Man, I was building the bookshelf last week, and I don't know what I did to my fingernails. But uh, anyway, let's see what we have here. We have our traditional Pilsner glass, footed Pilsner glass. This should be a relatively light color, and it is um, since it's unfiltered. I will not be pouring the entire contents of the can in here. It's not going to hurt you, but I just don't like to see things buzzing about in my Pilsner. <laughs> if you get my drip, baby. Uh, considering it's unfiltered, it's not all that hazy. It does have a slight uh, haze to it, golden color. Uh, a nice bright white foam up there. Let's see what kind of aroma we can pick up. Ah. Uh, Definitely has that Swedish uh, smell. Sweet, not Swedish, as in from Sweden. Sweet. Definitely has a floral hop presence in there, but it does smell rather sweet. Hey, before we drink this, we're going to thank the brewers there in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, that used to be the king of beer, right? Of course, the king of beer still resides there. <laughs> we won't say who that is. <laughs> Yeah, thanks to the brewers there, and thanks to you for watching at home. Cheers. This has a, more of a malt presence to it than anything else. It's got some lively carbonation in here, but it has got that sweet finish that reminds me of an adjunct lager. I'm not going to mention any names of particular beers. This isn't horribly sweet, but if you were to put this as a blind taste test on the bar, I would definitely say, hey, wait a minute. Mm, we got an adjunct lager here. <laughs> yeah, baby. Because uh, I've had plenty of Pilsners slash lagers, craft Pilsners and lagers, to know what a good one should taste like. This isn't quite there. It does have a nice dry finish to it, though. It's dry, sweet, and malty. 
it's not a horrible beer. It's not a horrible beer at all. Matter of fact, it's uh, quite drinkable. But you, you just have to get used to that slight sweetness in there. Now, this wouldn't be something I'd be, <clears throat> excuse me, bring home on a regular basis. But for a one and done, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. This would go great with a backyard cookout. That's what this type of beer reminds me of. It's not offensive. It's not one way or the other. It's not too much of this. It's not too much of that. It just has that slightly sweet taste to it. Slightly. Ever so slightly. The more I drink of it, the better uh, it's starting to taste to me. Not that I'm going to say that this will be my go-to beer anytime soon. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> a decent beer to quaff on a hot day. I don't like to use the term lawnmower beer, but that's what this reminds me of, a lawnmower beer. Hey, it's a decent beer. It's a decent beer. Remember, anytime you buy a beer that's unfiltered or especially unpasteurized, you want to bring it home and put it in the refrigerator right away and drink it as soon as possible. I don't think you'd want to let this sit out on the shelf until November 11th when they say you should drink it by. It wouldn't be so good. Yeah, the Fish Drifter, baby. The Fish Drifter out of St. Louis, Missouri. And what was the name of that? Uh, Perennial Artisan Ales. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, can't remember the name of that. Perennial Artisan Ales. I don't remember ever having a beer from, from this company. And the uh, the other brewer that contributed was uh, Heirloom Brewery. I've never heard of that either. Heirloom Ales. Of course, there's plenty of breweries out there I haven't heard of. You can't keep up with them. Hey, drink what makes you happy, baby. If you like this beer, go for it. Because life is too short to worry about it. No doubt. Cheers to that. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charge me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German 
Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just uh, a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.